When you type information into a document, what you type is normally inserted just to the left of the insertion point. Word includes another editing mode that replaces existing text with whatever you type. This quick tip describes what overtype mode is and how it works. Overtype mode is an editing mode in which everything you type replaces something else in your document. When overtype mode is active and you type a letter, it replaces the letter to the right of the insertion point. When overtype mode is not active, your text is inserted where the insertion point is located. The primary way to tell if overtype mode is active is by the effect that typing has in your document. In other words, if previously typed text is replaced as you type something new, then overtype mode is active. If you use overtype mode a lot, you may want to implement an even easier way of telling whether it's active or not, by adding an indicator to the status bar. All you need to do is right-click on the status bar, and that displays the customized status bar list here, and you can choose overtype mode right here. The overtype mode, if it has a check mark next to it, I just clicked on it and you see the check mark appear, then the indicator appears on the uh, status bar. If I click it again, then it goes away. Click it again, and now it's available on the status bar one more time. I will click somewhere else, and we are ready to go to work here. With this indicator in place, we can easily see if we're in overtype mode or not. Now, there are three ways that you can turn on overtype mode. The first method is to click on the overtype indicator on the status bar. It says insert right down here. If I click on this, now it says overtype. And watch what happens. You see the insertion point is at the very beginning of the document. Now, if I type some new text in here, I say N-E-W space T-E-X-T, it replaced the text as I was typing, rather than inserting the text as I was typing. That's what overtype mode does. I can now turn it off by clicking on it again, and I'm back to the regular insert edit mode within the document. The second way to turn on and off overtype mode is to use the insert key, but that means that we have to configure Word to use the insert key in that method. And the third method, is to use the Word Options dialog box. Now, these second and third options are closely related to each other. In fact, we're going to jump over here to the Word Options dialog box and then click Advanced at the left-hand side. Pay attention to these two settings right here. The first says, use the Insert key to control overtype mode. I talked about that just a moment ago. If this is selected, then that's what the insert key will do. Right below that is a setting that says use overtype mode. If I wanted to, I could just select that setting, close out of the Word Options dialog box, and I'd be in overtype mode. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click this right here so that we use the insert key to control overtype mode. Now I can say OK, and I'm back to my document. Notice on the status bar that it still says that we are in insert mode. I'm going to click somewhere else within this document. We'll click right down here. And now if I want to, I can press the insert key and watch what happens when I do. Watch what happens on the status bar indicator down below. I press insert and it goes to overtype mode. I press insert again and we're back to insert mode. When I'm in overtype mode, then I'll, anything I type, again, goes over the top of the text that's previously there. I press Insert key again, and now all of a sudden I'm back into Insert mode. So there you have it. Three different ways that you can turn on and off Insert mode and see what editing mode you're in within your document. Now there are definitely times when overtype mode can come in handy. In using one of these three methods to turn it on or off will help you control this powerful editing tool. I hope that you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, well, you might consider signing up for the free WordTips newsletter. 
Information is in the notes just below this video. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.